So the NAS game just changed. This over here is the ASUS Store Locker Store Gen 3. And believe me, between Gen 2 and Gen 3, this shouldn't be called Gen 3. It's like a whole new thing because it's so much different, looks the same, but what it can actually do is absolutely bonkers. There's a few buts that you need to know before purchasing this. If you're looking for a Thunderbolt USB-C NAS, then there's nothing like this out there. Licensing Windows is cheap and easy with whokeys.com and if you use the code TN20 you get an extra discount. Complete the purchase, copy the key, and paste it to the activation settings. And you're all done! Also check out their Microsoft Office 19 license and use the same code TN20 for the extra discount. Check out hookies.com in the video description below. So there are a few different versions of this Logosol Gen 3. There's a 4-bay, 6-bay, what I have here, then 8-bay, and even 10-bay version available. In terms of hardware, they're all exactly the same. The only difference between those models is the actual SATA bays. 4, 6, 8, or 10. But when you look on the back of the device, they are all the same. And this is where some of these amazing features come in. Now, take a look at this one. We have two LAN ports on the bottom here that are 5 gigabits in speed. Dual 5 gig NIC. Then we've got dual 10 gigabit Ethernet, copper in here, two USB ports, and then two USB 4 ports, which in networking can go up to 20 gigabits each, which is absolutely ridiculous. If you go with the Locker Store 4, the power supply is going to be external. If you go with the Gen 6 and above, the power supply is actually going to be built into the NAS device as well so you will just have a kettle lead just like that in there in terms of the hardware it's pretty pretty simple as you might have heard you've got these bays here you can pop your hard drives or ssds into there as you can see there's 2.5 inch screw holes as well so you can put your ssd into there just like that the only downside what i have about these that i wish a suster actually upgraded is a quick system how to actually install hard drives you're still gonna have to use screws which in some cases is better but i do think at this point i want to just pop my hard drive in because there's a few versions out there different nasas that have kind of like where you pull it out put the hard drive in and push it back in and then it's all stuck in there i wish it was easier install just like that the gen 3 as you can see will have a little ryzen kind of a orange in here and did you say ryzen yes asus to find Finally, moved this on from Intel platform to Ryzen platform because many multiple things. Ryzen has more PCI lanes in the system and because of the Ryzen chip, they get a much better network connectivity as you can see in the back and the M.2 storage in there as well. So I've got six SATA bays, but that's not it. Let's open it up. Inside the box, we also get our kettle lead, ethernet cables, and then screws for hard drives and SSDs. Unfortunately, we are not getting any USB 4 cables, so you're gonna have to have them separately yourself. There is also no quick access to the M.2s. You will have to undo the screws and open the bonnet. As you can see, there is a little expansion slot in this bit for future maybe accessories or something if you wanted to upgrade this even more. As you can see, there is a little ventilation on the top there and on the sides as well. Now, as you can see, this M.2 bays here, four of them, as you can see, are PCI expansion that goes on the side there. And if you look on the side here, if pulling this up here, you can see that these, this here is secondary DDR5 slot. This already comes with 16 gigabytes of ECC DDR5, which is installed on the other side of this board. Unfortunately, you can't really access this, but you can just upgrade it very easily through this port here. You can put up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5 in here. These four M.2 slots are PCIe Gen 4 X1 slots. Unfortunately, one lane per M.2. So in order to test that, I've got two Gen 4 drives, which I'm going to put to 3 and 4. And also, I've got PCIe Gen 3 drives, which I'm going to put to 1 and 2. I've connected this NAS to this PC here via USB 4 cable. So it goes to the Thunderbolt 4 port, USB 4. Let's see if we can actually turn it on. As you can see, there is a little LCD on the top there as well 
with few little buttons on the side where you can see like some important information. So if you need to see like the IP addresses of certain ports or something like that, you can actually check them out from there. We're going to do RAID level. I'm just going to try RAID 0 on two of these. I'll do the other bit after it's actually initialized this. Can, can you hear me all right? How's it going? Yeah, good. How are you? Just well, that was interesting. So I've been just trying to figure something out. And basically, the USB 4s in the back of the NAS, they're not really working for networking. And it's not really ASUS fault, but it's kind of AMD's fault because AMD has never really released a driver so that it can actually pull an IP address over USB-C or USB 4 on their uh, CPUs and something like that. I was on the phone here with a Suster contact uh, who, um, you know, I know Marco is a good friend of mine, but basically it's not working. The only person who has got the USB 4 working is Robbie from NAS Compares. I know, I know, I know it's annoying. He's got my magic fingers, he's got magic touch, he's got it working. Even ASUS hasn't got it working, but Robbie has. Now, I've tried exactly the same CPU what Robbie has, the 3900H mobile, which I have here, but it's absolutely not working. So as you can see, it says site can be reached in here, and I've typed in exactly the USB 4 address, what we have the IP in there, it's not working. Now, hopefully AMD is gonna release an update and a fix for that. Then the USB 4s will be working as well. And then we have dual USB-C 20 gigabits connectivity. Right now, we don't, so it's kind of like not really working properly. Now, 10 gigabits ethernet will be roughly around 1000 megabytes per second, something around there, nothing amazing, but that kind of leads on leaves this device massively underwhelming. Now, has this device got the most potential? Absolutely. It's probably one of the most potential NAS out there because if you look at any other USB-C NAS that's from QNAP, Thunderbolt, USB-C, something like that, they're very expensive. We're talking about two, three grand for that. Whereas this one here is half of that in terms of hardware amazing hardware for this it is amazing but not fully working yet so we're gonna have to see the release of that now do i recommend you to buy a product of a future promise not really is it working right now not really so i would say hold on buying the gen 3 for now or if you desperately get the gen 2. the other downside with this ryzen cpu is it doesn't have an iGPU and the Intel iGPU is very good at encoding or decoding media, which you can't do right now on this, at least in a hardware level. You can, you know, obviously use CPU, but it's going to be a lot more power, a lot more slower than what you could do on Intel. It's powerful networking device if you were using just 10 gigabit Ethernet, but if you want USB-C, it's kind of underwhelming. Now on that note, you're thinking the review kind of of this is half finished and I would say, yeah, because the product is unfinished for now. I would love to get this fixed and hopefully there's going to be a, a fix very, very soon. And then we can actually check out how good and how fast the USB-C in the back is. If we're connecting to something like laptops, other devices, I would love to check it out. Let me know what you think. And if you want to check out the full in-depth review from Robbie, which <laughs> Robbie seems a lot more positive about it than I am, uh, because for me, things aren't really working as well as for Robbie. So if you want to go check it out, ask compares. I'm going to leave the link and video in the video description below as well. Thanks guys for watching. Bye-bye.